it's Chef Dan from SoFlo Dining. I'm here with the vegan homeboy, AKA the raw vegan homeboy. That's right, that's right. We're here at Festival Marketplace in front of Avi's Grill. Mm -hmm. um, he's gonna let us know what he would order as a vegan if he visited. Yes, yes. Um, just like the uh, Middle, East, Middle Eastern spot, the Mediterranean spot we visited, um, the, the Jewish lifestyle and the Mediterranean lifestyle have two uh, similar uh, cultures when it comes to um, cuisine. So, and you have the falafel, um, you have the hummus, um, you have, I know here they have the couscous, okay? So basically anything that you see that's a, basically a vegetable or a grain right. by itself, right. be sure to ask them um, what's it cooked with. Because I think you mentioned, um, I want to say the word, I don't want to. I, I, don't, I can't <laughs> say it either. It's chicken fat that they, yeah, chicken that fat. they skim off the soup. Right? Yes, yes. Be sure that that particular item is not, uh, that's not used as a base. Right. Okay. But they might call it a, a name. I think it's schmut or something like that. Yeah, something like and, that. I can't even say it. Right. If you say mm -hmm. animal fat, they're going to say, no, we use whatever. Mm -hmm. Ask what that is mm -hmm. to make sure that it's not from the chicken. Yeah, make sure it's <laughs> right. not from the chicken. Yeah. And, and like I said in my last video uh, with Dolores, do, don't be afraid to ask. Okay, don't, do not be afraid to ask because Definitely. when you ask about what's in certain things, you empower yourself. And you know, and, and, and I, I think I said this to you last time, when, if, if a customer comes to you, you being a professional chef and they ask you about your, your, uh, your creativity right. in the kitchen or how you cooking it, would you get offended? No. See? No. And he's a I, professional chef, a master chef. Actually, we enjoy telling people how to make stuff. See? Yeah, so <laughs> right. that way, you know, yeah. and you never know, you ask the chef, what they put in the food and then you ask the chef okay right. could you please not put that in there because of my lifestyle and um the, sh the chef will say of course yeah okay and next yeah. time we want customers yes that's right yeah and that and that way within the dialogue you're creating a relationship right you know you're creating the relationship it okay. also opens the door to us because when mm -hmm. we go to redo a menu we might add a vegan section yes exactly you know, and we need the input based on the based off the motivation and the conversation you had with one particular customer exactly. right yeah. You see? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm sorry we got off topic, but <laughs> <laughs> but you know, um, like I said, and uh, this is a mainly uh, Jewish cuisine establishment where we're at, and like I said before, it's more um, in similarity with the Mediterranean spot where we're at, as far as with the falafel, uh, the pita bread. Now you got to ask what's in the pita bread, okay? Uh, they can put chicken fat in the pita bread too, right? Anything, anything they anything? need fat for, they would put it in. Okay. You just have to ask. Okay, yes, you yeah. just have to ask, okay? Um, the couscous, ask if that's cooked in a uh, chicken broth. Um, what else they got up here? Um, they got the shuk, uh, hmm. I can't pronounce which it. Which one? The shakura bowl or something like that. Oh, you think I saw that, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a lot of stuff up here. I see the rice and beans. Right. And they had the vegetable bowl and the, vegetable. And the salad. And yes. the salad. Yep. Yeah. Yep, the salad too. Um, so just to make things simple, we don't want you to come up here asking this, that, and the third, you know, um, about every particular item. But choose an item that you want. Right. One to two items, okay? And say, does this particular item, is it cooked in a uh, uh, animal base? Right. Is it cooked in chicken broth? Do you use a certain type of animal product? Okay, do you, do you put cheese on it? Um, the thing we're trying to say is just ask more questions. Okay, mm -hmm. ask more questions. Create a dialogue with the chef. Okay, talk to the cashier. And then like I said, next time you come back, they'll know what you want because they'll exactly. say, oh, this customer don't want this. You know? So um, that's all you gotta do. It's, it's not that hard. Don't be intimidated to ask questions. You know, I love asking questions when I come to places like this because first of all, with my, the videos that I do, I have to make sure that I'm putting out the right content for you. Because right. if, if, if I get a, uh, something bad on my name, oh, be the homeboy, it had meat in it. Oh, I'm going to lose credibility. Yep. And his, his videos are very good, by the way. Oh, thank that's you. That's how we you. met. I love watching your videos. Oh, thank very you. Very informative. You. Very informative. Oh, thank you. Thank yep. you. Thank you. And thank, thank you for you. having me. Oh, sure, man. No problem. <laughs>